Hi guys and welcome back to another video on Tish Does Travel. Thank you so much for everybody that commented and liked and shared and kind of gave me your feedback on the last video. I really appreciated it and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a behind the scenes of what I got up to in Madrid. I know it's not always that interesting in terms of travel wise, there's not always that much I can show you because we don't tend to do any of the kind of touristy destinations. We get to stay in a nice hotel which is fun to show but there's not a huge amount that I actually get up to. So I hope it was still really interesting and it's going to be the same again today. So today I am travelling to Malaga with Vauxhall and the best bit about this is it's actually warm in Malaga at the moment. So first of all let's quickly go over the travel itinerary. So we are flying at 10.40 from Heathrow tomorrow morning and we need to check in at about 8.40. Now I live a good two, two and a half hours from Heathrow especially at that time of the morning so I'm going to need to leave like probably going to need to leave about five half past five to make sure that I definitely get there on time I'm also doing the pod parking at Heathrow which is literally so so exciting I didn't get to film it last time so I can't wait to show you guys the pod parking it's really good fun um, and then we're arriving in Malaga about half past two and then we're going to the hotel which we're getting to about four o'clock in the afternoon now there is at this point an option to test drive the cars at four o'clock as much as I may do this, also the hotel that we're staying at has a spa. So I might see if I can sneak off, because we do have some free time and it says optional test drives. So I might see if I can sneak off and use the spa in this time, but that's not guaranteed. And then dinner starts at about six o'clock. We've got drinks reception at half past six, then a press briefing at seven, just like last time. And then we've got dinner and it says at Palmito, which is the hotel restaurant. So dinner just like last time very similar layout to when I was in Madrid and then the next day is the day again that I'm going to be doing all my filming so straight away from eight o'clock in the morning we're having breakfast and then it's the test drive loops all the way till 12 30 when we're going to be leaving to go to the airport now I'm going to show you guys what I've packed and then I'm gonna get to bed because I need to be up early. I need to swap over my cars as well. So I've got the Toyota Yaris at the moment. The Yaris needs to go back to work. I need to pick up my car. Gonna be doing that in the morning. Luckily it is en route, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then the next time I check in will actually be at the airport. So let me show you what I've packed in my bag. So the filming equipment that I'm taking this time is the same as last time. I've got the two mounts that go in the car. I've got my tripod for my G7X. Um, I've also got my filming phone and my mics and my tripod. And then my things that will be going in the little bag, of course. There's the famous panda once again. And my passport and keys and things like that. Now, outfit-wise, <clears throat> this is really tricky because it's actually going to be quite warm. Wait, let me show you how warm it's actually going to be. So as you can see, current weather at home, well, it's pretty blinking freezing and I don't think it's going to get any warmer for a while either. But in Malaga, it's 10 degrees. So it's 10 degrees at night and it's reaching like heights of 14, 15. So um, what's tomorrow going to be? Tomorrow is going to have heights of 14 and then... On Tuesday which is the day that I'm going to be filming the weather is a little bit more overcast but it's still going to be heights of 12 degrees which compared to what it's like at the moment that's actually very warm so I'm not really sure what to pack because 12 is gonna feel warm but is 12 actually warm I'm not too sure but do you know what I'm just gonna embrace it I'm gonna pretend that it's really warm and I'm gonna go with it so I've got a dress for the evening which I'm gonna pair with these little hills here um, and then I'm just packing my trainers for the rest of the time so I've got a black dress that I'm gonna wear on the filming day and then a little bow in my hair trainers everybody recognizes these I wear them all the time my sunglasses told you I'm really praying that it's gonna be nice weather and then just my traveling outfit, just a blazer, top and jeans. Um, I'm also packing my swimming costume as well because it's a spa. So fingers crossed I might get some time to go in the pool because it is indoors. I have looked it up. And then just pyjamas, um, some headphones. And yeah, so I'm just going to pack that all up. Okay, I'm going to whisper because everyone's asleep. But this is the airport outfit. 
I'm all ready to go. Um, it's just gone half past, so pretty much on time, leaving three hours to get to Heathrow, and it should only take like two, but we all know what the M25 is like. Um, so I'm going to go load up the car, and then I need to go to work and swap the cars around. I'm now suddenly thinking, was it really worth saving that five pound in fuel to have to defrost two cars? Possibly not. The only saving grace is the fact that I can actually sit in the nice warm car whilst that one defrosts and the up does have heated seats. So at least I can look forward to those. What I didn't anticipate is actually this is now the second frost that the up has sat through. So it's got two layers of ice on it and I think we're on about 10 minutes and counting and it's not looking any less frozen. literally such a painful drive this morning it took nearly three hours it's minus four degrees it was freezing um, but as you can hear I am at Heathrow Airport so I've just arrived and I'm actually at the pod parking so if you've never done the pod parking at Terminal 5 before this is very very cool so you park up in your usual multi-story car park and then you get these little electric pods that take you into the terminal. They're very good fun. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what they're like. Hello, where do you want to go? You're going to Terminal 5. Your pod will be here soon. I'm regretting this outfit so much. <laughs> I'm absolutely freezing. It's so cold in my little podlet. This is gonna wear off eventually. This is the second time that I've got the pod parking. Um, and it gets a little bit less exciting every single time. It looks like it'd be like a roller coaster, but um, yeah, it's pretty slow. But it is cool and it is a good way of like, keeping all of the congestion away from the airport um, because I don't know if you can see now we're just going over the motorway so yeah and um, hopefully I'll be in the terminal in no time the lounge and it's just as well because I'm absolutely starving so this is my choices I've got cappuccino and they had caramel syrup so it's caramel cappuccino and then I've also got a couple of croissants and some porridge as well and I freaked out because I put water in the porridge and I thought you're supposed to put milk in it but apparently it's it is supposed to be uh, water so yeah I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast and then I don't think we're that far off of um, boarding I think it's like 10 past nine, so it's just like an hour before we fly. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be only sitting here for about half hour. Did you have a good flight? Great, yes. thank you. Have snow in Hebrew? 
Not quite, no. nearly. Ah. We've arrived at Malaga Airport. Look at the sky. It's literal blue skies. I've missed seeing these, although I've got cold sore from the plane, so we won't talk about that. And these are the cars behind us. So we're going out in a grand land this morning and there is some Astras behind as well. Um, so the first stop is to drive the grand land to the hotel. So we're gonna get on the road. Let's go. Oh, he's got his sunnies on. Hi. Oh, I want my sunglasses. What do you want mine? No. Quick. Nice and responsive. La Zambra! Is that, is that it? Don't know. We need somebody to help us. <laughs> help us! <laughs> Please! How did everyone else work it out? Right, I don't know where we're going. Where, do we, where are we going? Matt! Is the hotel called La Zambra? Oh, oh, sorry, we didn't listen to that. Sorry. <laughs> honestly. These, <laughs> these YouTubers, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Just, do we ever, literally never ever listen to anything no. anybody said? Although to be fair, they were German and they didn't. They weren't. <laughs> were they German? I thought they were French. No, I think they're German, aren't they? Or they Spanish? Okay. My colleague, please. Deputy. Deputy. You want to drive directly to the uh, hotel or uh, yes, please. do the little loop? No, we're going to drive directly to the hotel and then do loops from All there. Alright, yeah? then just let me write down your names. Your name is? Bachelor. Bachelor. Your name is? Natisha Chatter. Alright, just pick up the phone. Okay, we've got it up here. Is it? Is it this yeah, one? Yeah, no, it's not this oh, okay, one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll listen problem. to what you're saying. <laughs> it? Did you listen to what you said about the directions? Uh, we turn right. And then stay in the left and lane. And then we turn the two left lane. So I've just got to my room and as I showed you this hotel is beautiful but you guys are not even ready for my room. This is stunning, right? So as you enter you've got these lovely wooden cabinets and all of the drinks facilities here. Look, it's so beautiful and then you've got the cupboards here with lights inside and then I'll show you this part in a moment but look at this bathroom. Look at this got this really nice it's absolutely beautiful and if I could describe to you the smell in here the smell is absolutely amazing <gasps> oh my god look at that shower and what's in here that old oh, toilet I was gonna say what's in here just the whole thing just smells absolutely incredible and then so through here look at that it's beautiful the only thing I will say is I don't think I got the best view um, 
but I really cannot complain. I mean, I have seen some of the views and some of them look right over kind of um, onto like what I assume is like a golf course. So look at that, look at the mountains in the background. Oh my God. Can you hear the birds? Oh my God, this is amazing. Guys, and I have to say, because I feel like I've not mentioned this enough, but I am so grateful that I can have these opportunities and I can come to these beautiful places because this is just amazing. Like I'm feeling very, very grateful right now. And obviously I couldn't do this if I wasn't doing the channel and if I didn't have the support that you guys have given me. It's unbelievably amazing. Right, so the plans next. Um, I'm gonna go to the spa. I think it's about half past four and I think drinks are at half past six. So the plan is I'll go down to the spa for like 30 minutes, have a really nice swim, which is gonna feel so good after um, the plane ride. And then I'm gonna get ready for dinner. So I am gonna take some of my things with me. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to film in the spa, um, but hopefully I can give you guys a sneak peek because I think I'm in love with this place. so excited although I think my flip-flops are a little bit bigger for me just a bit and I treat myself to a massage it is my birthday soon after all god nearly falling over in these flip-flops goodness you know when you prepare yourself for a worst case scenario so I've just been in the spa obviously I've got all oil in, in my hair and I was gonna wash it out and I thought oh worst case scenario it'll be half past five when I get out it's quarter past six we, we're meeting for drinks in ten in ten minutes <laughs> hmm maybe I shouldn't have agreed to that massage so yeah I'm gonna have to just have my hair up like this um there's no time to wash it if anyone ever thought I was high maintenance, i just like to prove that I am definitely not. So, I've put my hair up in a bow and a ponytail to hide the literal, um, like, massage oil that's already in it. Washed my fringe, dried my fringe, so that's nice and big and bouncy. I have got a little dotty dress on, and then I've also got these shoes, which hopefully match, but there's no full-length mirror, so... I will be blissfully unwear if they don't. And look at this. Are you ready? 31 minutes past. So I did that in 12 minutes, which has got to be a record. Okay. I'm starving, so I'm going to go get some dinner. Good morning! I'm so sorry that I haven't had a chance to actually check in yet this morning. Um, I pretty much got up, got ready, went to breakfast had a little bit of a sore head from the night before, but not too bad. Um, James is just having his photo taken. Um, and then the plan is, well, I've actually just filmed my video this morning. I tried to get it out of the way nice and early, um, get that done. And then James is gonna take out the Astra because he needs to do a video and write an article on the Astra. Um, so we're gonna go take a nice drive around. Um, if, I keep saying this, but this hotel is beautiful. Look at this. So it's actually, freezing this morning so there's me thinking that it was going to be like um 15 degrees and it's literally nowhere near 15 degrees this morning it's like eight degrees and i'm very 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 cold but it does give a pretty scenery because 
look at all the clouds it's like all moody and around the mountains it's very pretty and then um yeah hopefully i can show you a little bit more of some of the places that we go today um but who knows i'll just have to roll with it because we're actually going to the airport at like 12 30 so haven't got that much time um but hopefully we'll get to see some nice scenery let's see i think we're gonna head to marbella that was a pretty successful morning filming apart from the fact that James made himself feel sick and then he had to uh, sleep for the rest of the time so he didn't even get to see when we went near the beach or near the sea but never mind um, we're back at the hotel now so we are having lunch at this very lovely restaurant here and we're having some tapas and tapas is my favorite so i'm very excited and then i think pretty much i'm gonna quickly after lunch do some interior stuff at the grand land for my video and then i'm going to do my driving talking to camera driving when we're on the way back to the airport um let me show you our lunch because this looks like it's going to be lovely just like everything else but let me show you 